The elder tree is a beautiful native tree of the UK. Its beauty fills the shrub layer of the forest and it's forever giving to the forager and the nature crafter. Its wood is very unique as it has a hollow centre perfect for making a range of items. Today we're going to show you how to make basic elder beads. So in order to make some elder beads we're going to need a length of willow, some sacatairs, a tent peg, some sellotape and some string. So we're going to take our length of elder and we're going to notice that on the elder we have these little knobbly sections and these are sections where the branches were growing from the main stem. It's really important that we don't include those in our beads. We're just going to cut that one off like that. Now you can choose the size of your beads. You can have a variety of sizes or all the same. And all you're going to do is just cut through, put them to one side. We're going to use six beads for this necklace. Now for the next section, we're going to take a temp peg and we're going to take our bead. Now the aim is to remove this soft pith from the centre to leave a hollow centre in the bead. And we're going to do that by just placing the temp peg on it and just pushing away, just like so. Do it a number of times to clean out and make it as a clear hole that goes all the way through. Just like so. Perfect. We're then going to take our length of string and a little piece of sellotape and we're just going to wrap the sellotape around the end to make it easy for threading. We're then going to take about 50 centimetres and we're going to cut that using a knife or scissors. I'm going to take the end that we sellotaped and we're going to thread through the bead like so. Now with the first bead we're going to tie an overhand knot around the bead. So I'm going to come right over left underneath pull, left over right underneath and pull just like that. I'll show you one more time. Over, through, and pull, and round, through, and pull, just like so. We're then going to continue to thread the remaining beads. like so. We're then going to tie a knot on this end which is a, um, a whole overhand on a bite so we're going to make a loop. We're going to take that, we're going to drop it down, come around, back three. So we're left with an overhand knot on a bite just like that and then this works as our clasp so that thing goes through there and holds the necklace 
in place, just like so. And there we have a really simple elder bead necklace. If you enjoyed this video, stay tuned. We're going to do some more nature activity videos around elder beads in the future and try and advance our skills as we go along. Thanks very much for stopping by and watching this video. We'll see you again at Weeby Kids soon. Bye. Thank you.